It's Dr. Steve, Master of the Subconscious Mind, and Doctor Who Fixes 100% of orthopedic issues not related to cancer, fracture, or infection. And let's cover something today that uh, many people struggle with, and that's that you cannot exercise your emotional struggles and pain away. A lot of people take up fitness to get out their frustration or anger and to help them heal from breakups to abusive relationships to uh, parental struggles to financial struggles to try to forget about them but that's not necessarily the best way to handle things exercise is absolutely crucial to optimal health because it it improves cellular function and our cellular function creates waves in the universe that draw in experiences so we need to have our mitochondria functioning at a high level to be effective at being the receiver. So exercise is crucial, the food we put in our body is crucial, but so is the emotional thoughts that you have and stuffing them in the back of the mind, pretending they didn't happen and they don't exist, does not create consciousness and leads to illness. Disease in the mind becomes disease in the body. And to put this simply for people so they can understand because it's more complex than what I'm going to make it. But basically you have a thought, you have an emotion, you have a traumatic experience, you have frustrations, you have anger, you have sadness, you have um, worry, you have, you're unsure, depression. These emotions that are experienced that you try to put in the back of your mind and work out to, to forget about them. What, what ends up happening is it goes into the subconscious mind. That limbic part of the brain, which is your emotional brain, is attached to the hippocampus, which is your memory. And that memory is attached to the hypothalamus. That's the part that controls all of your autonomic function, your heart rate, your digestion, your immune system, detoxification, all those different factors. So all of a sudden you go through a breakup, you're angry, you go through all the different emotions, withdrawal, sadness, whatever it is, and you try to work them out, you put them in the back of your mind. Now all of a sudden that memory is still there running a pattern. So you closed your heart Right now that you've closed your heart, what happens is is you draw in other people that have done the same. But in that, now the heart meridian in Chinese medicine can't flow. And that heart meridian doesn't feed into, let's say, the thyroid adrenal meridian. So those meridians are blocked. And that deals with you being all delta potential. Now you're a pure manifestation of love, which means that now that energy not flowing through that fire element rising up to your ultimate potential of who you actually are meant to be ends up being expressed in a holding pattern and the heart's closed and it speaks to an illness, right? It, unworthiness maybe, right? The emotion of unworthiness because somebody discarded you and that emotion of unworthiness that's there is the exact attractor pattern for a virus. So you get a virus that affects the, because of the heart and that unworthiness that's there when that virus, see, your heart chakra is right here. That pure produces immune globulin A. That's your number one defense mechanism against a pathogen. You invited that in. I don't believe in the germ theory. I believe in the disconnection from love theory. You want to ignite the energy and ignore the enemy. Because when you ignite the energy from within, that love radiates and it causes healing. The devil cannot penetrate a host that's in the right vibrational frequency. Outside factors make no difference. So... Let's take another experience that happened. Let's just say um, you, you failed on an exam and you want to get your frustration out by working out. Now, that frustration that's there, you never dealt with it, you never told yourself, I'm smart, I can do this, I'm going to handle it, I'm going to learn. There's no mistakes, only lessons. So now what happens is that frustration that's there and you're telling yourself, I don't know how I'm ever going to do this, how am I going to learn this, you're reinforcing that bad motor pattern in the mind. And then... All of a sudden, you can't think straight. Your body, disease in the mind becomes disease in the body. So now all of a sudden, that frustration, you try to work out of the gym that's running a pattern, all of a sudden makes it into learning disabilities and, heart, and, and a bad memory. I can't remember anything. Well, if you can't remember, the person who says they can, can. The person who says they can't, can't. So what happens is, is that frustration that's there that affects our liver, what does your liver do? It metabolizes hormones. One of the things it does, now we get stagnation. You get stagnation of blood because you can't metabolize the hormones. You can't get rid of that plaque buildup. So it doesn't feed into the heart. 
and now you have a stroke or a heart attack because you're frustrated and, and life isn't worth living because you can't have what you want, but you can have everything you want. The power is within you. So we need to educate people that exercise is not the cure. It's necessary because it optimizes our mitochondria that's our receptor to the universe and makes you more powerful. And so you absolutely need to exercise. You need to pay attention to the foods you eat, the water you drink, the way we treat our relationships and other, other people. But exercise will never, ever be the solution to dealing with what is actually happening in the subconscious mind because it's just a pattern that has to be changed. And so to change it, all you have to do is open your heart, say what you want to experience. I'm, I am feeling happy, whatever it is. I am feeling excited. Experiencing the experience that you want feeling the emotion as you're feeling that experience because that is the exact thing that brings in the potential from the quantum field. Your thoughts have a charge. And we can manifest, there's infinite potentials you can manifest. They already exist in the quantum field. It's just up to you, the powers within inside you. So that everybody wants three things. They want money, they want love, and they want health. And what are you doing to hold yourself back? Because that's the key ticket. And sometimes, these are things that we learn from our parents. We learn, we brought in from past lives. It's an energetic frequency that's there. But this, this life is about the journey of the soul. And it's about the development and the growth that's there. And it's about unbecoming the things that you're not.